Hey guys, this is part two. Helicontex Bergen backpack. Uh, I like to make this review inside now uh, because the first one I made, uh, I think uh, I missed a couple things. And uh, this time I want to completely unpack uh, this backpack and uh, show what you can fit inside. Uh, it's still not fully loaded and uh, by now because I've been using it for a couple of times already I can tell because especially my main compartment uh, when it's fell in it goes up about in here and um, so I got a still like a little bit extra room uh, to store uh, whatever items I need to uh, store in so let's start it so this uh, backpack is <clears throat> made in Poland and uh, in my eye and I go through the all kinds of different backpacks this backpack so far it serves me to do the really good day hikes and uh, overnight hikes uh, and I figure I'll be able to manage to do at least uh, three days two nights trips with this backpack even in a winter time so um it's made out of the uh 1000d uh, uh cordura uh really good structure really good stitching uh all three out compartments uh i'm not sure what's the particular size of those obviously as you see the the main one the, uh, it's bigger than two side ones but the main compartment uh, it's supposed to be about 18 liters and again you know like these are uh, kind of just the uh, uh, specs um, i uh, search uh, i might be wrong it might be a little bit bigger it's definitely not smaller than 18 liters and uh uh, for most of my trips, I thought this gonna be tight in beginning when I unpacked it, but I really got surprised once I started filling this stuff in and slowly figure it out what I can fit or not. So I wanna start with uh, those three uh, outer uh, pouches. So uh, my uh, right side of it, it's got a tox. Uh, cap with the lid in the bottom and I can fit inside my Nalogen bottle and in a side I can still you know fill a couple items which I'm gonna uh, review uh, I mean uh, show you in a minute so uh, as you see here um, I can fit uh, my uh, um, bison uh, camping axe and uh, one of my knives uh, obviously this this is basically like a hole it's go all the way through the bottom so you can switch that around you can put your uh, walking sticks or any items you basically need a fish through you know so that's the one side and the other side uh, right now you know as you see uh, I got my uh, Burl 21 um, uh, bow saw and uh, uh, here it's the same thing, you know, uh, because it's a winter and uh, mostly I do do the day hikes or just the overnights. So I just plan uh, to have enough water to drink or boil. If I need to boil the water uh, for uh, dry food or if I need to boil the water, make a tea or make the grass so, uh, and, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, also, like I said before, uh, once you put your uh, uh, one liter Nalogen bottle in, you can still uh, have like a, a gap in you know, this and uh, this side right there, and you can fill a lot of items, you know. So I, I got a, uh, some tinder, I got a, some fat wood, uh, and I got a, a, a headlamp, a spare headlamp, because I like to use two, so I got a one on the top, so it's easy to reach and I got uh, another one right inside. In my first review, I was uh, showing uh, that um, uh, 
I'm doing my uh, hot pant, you know, so that uh, that, that, that is uh, changed a little bit and I'm gonna go to, to that uh, part in a second here. So the front, uh, as you see right here, uh, that's my pan. And uh, it's uh, th this, uh, this big uh, section here in the back side of it, it's basically divided in a three compartments, which middle, it's a hole right through it. So if you're carrying the long ax and again, any item you need to fish right through it, you can do that in my case, you know, I, I got a pen here and in a one side, it's this little small uh, black pouch, which got uh, all my uh, titanium uh, silverware and uh, uh, MSR uh, spatula. In uh, this side right here, um, I got uh, uh, my uh, bushcraft knife and uh, that's pretty much what I carry now. So those two side compartment, they are uh, actually uh, enclosed. So th those two side bottoms, are actually uh, stitch on so whatever you put in it will not fall out so that's i found it really really great idea you know they, they really put a lot of thoughts of then uh this uh, backpack this review is might gonna be a little bit longer than um i uh, originally thought but uh bear with me if you like it if it comes boring just to shut it off that's fine too so um comes to the top here uh so uh this uh uh cover you know it's got a, like a little bungee on the both sides so no matter what you fill in it's still like a keeping keeping like some sort of nice you know uh grabbing in a side and like i said you know you can you can you can uh pull it up about this much uh when it's completely fill in with like all other items it's got a, a four uh, points, four loops in a top. And uh, originally, you know, I got a, just my little lamp and uh, my leash for the hanging the, uh, you know, my um, backpack on a tree, some uh, spare carabiner. Uh, now I actually add uh, uh, these uh, really great, I mean, my, my buddy Dave uh, told me about those, these are, uh, from REI so these are uh, you know two loops with the buckle and what's the great about it they, they actually got a, like a just a eye loop in the end so you never lose them you put them on if you don't need them like I don't need them right now you can just hook them on same thing with the body it just got this like a loop through thing you know so if you got anything uh, stuck on the top you know, uh, and you unbuckle it, you don't have to worry about losing the stuff in the snow or in the leaves uh, somewhere in the woods. Right now, I just got them ready whenever I need them to be. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously the same one uh, in, in this side. And uh, I use the same stuff in the bottom, which I got my uh, hot TP uh, from the I'm not uh, sure if I'm pronouncing it very correctly. It's a Alux or Alux. It's A L U X E, and uh, this is a three-person uh, hot tent. So, 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 uh, so that's you know that's grabs right in the bottom really nicely, you know. So originally I just got a uh, everything loop right on. Uh, now I got a. Uh, uh, um, uh, summit to see uh, pressure back I, I bought a small size and it's really you know making like a huge difference how, how compact this uh, big tent uh, big TP uh, become you know so now I'm gonna start a uh, uh, oh let's go in the back so we can we can we can finish like a hole outside here so really a good grabbing handle as you see, and uh, the straps are really nice. I mean, I'm a big guy, but even for me, it's it's really good. You know, the, the, the buckles, so when you need to unbuckle it in the terrain, they simply unbuckle. 
and it's got a really simple uh you know uh, uh stitching uh, loops on the side and it's got a like a little velcro and so if you got a like a too much material you can just roll it up you know and uh, put it back on with a little uh little little uh velcro tie downs so so that's for that it's got a really really simple uh channel you know and it comes kind of in an arrow you know and i actually i'm a guy like i got a, some back problems so i really like this is really good padding you know this is like a stretchy material and uh, this is a cordura and again like this is like a, a, this uh you know elastic material and uh, uh, again, this, this is uh, your uh, Cordura. Uh, so yes, you can sweat on a little bit, but it dries out really well. So, you know, I like to have my back uh, to be warm, you know, even in, in a summer or even in a winter. So really convenient, uh, really simple design. It's got a, a two uh, sides. I got those roll up right now because I, find out like most of the time I really don't uh, need in this size of the backpack using the waist strap but it's really well made so if you really want to not to have it at all you know you can uh, just uh, uh, with a uh, hardware here with uh, this plastic uh, uh, you know eye loop you can just uh, completely de detach these out if you don't need them you know last time I used them you know to support the grabbing my bottom piece so like right now I have them on. Eventually I might gonna take them out or I maybe maybe gonna find uh, some pouches and use that as a my waist belt, you know, with some pouches on it. We'll, we'll see, you know, it's still working process. So I hope that's kind of cover the outside. Of course, it's got a, this zipper here when you can fit, uh, depends like uh, how, uh, how much uh, room you got inside, you know, so it's about a, like a, a your your palm size with the fingers, uh, like a room inside. So you can put like a flat stuff as your uh, toilet paper, um, kind of small compartment, but you know, like right now I got a, some uh, chopstick, I got a, a, some uh, um, uh, Tums uh, tablets. Uh, and I believe because, you know, usually when I'm not hiking, I put it back on like a toilet paper, uh, my um, fire starter, uh, you, you know, my my uh, uh, little items like that, you know, so so I know when I go on a hike, I don't have to think about it. I just open this and I, I, I got them uh, ready to go. You know, also you see in the front, it's got a big panel for your uh, moral patches you know and uh which you know i have many of those i didn't uh, figure which one i want to uh, throw right on and uh that's it probably you know that's probably takes like everything uh, what i want to say about is from outside so now uh i'm gonna leave those couple of items because they are really obvious but uh i'm gonna start pulling out that's uh one knife here this is my axe uh that right now you know this uh pouch i bought it's a ratko i don't know if that's their original price but uh i bought it last weekend dollar 99 for this uh machete pouch and no offense to no one everybody liked to shop cheap uh, so there is a very great uh brands uh, out there you can find you know like a really nice pouches uh, for this uh, Bosa, but as you see, this is just perfect. It's work amazing. I got just this uh, double Velcro. I just added on, and as you see, it's it's really slides without a you know like ripping my uh, cordura out. It's really slides in super super easy thing, you know. So that would be uh, my thing here. I got a wooden spoon, and I'm gonna unbuckle this. So here is my uh, here is my silverware with with uh, some uh, little wooden sp uh, spoon and uh, with my uh, uh, MSR spatula. 
here here goes uh, my uh, pan again I find this in an antique store works amazing uh, it's made in the USA it's uh, national and uh, not sure if I'm gonna read this correctly but I think it says uh, three and three quarter inches which i think that stands for like inside diameter i might be wrong you know write a comment if you know what i'm talking about it's a really simple pan i mean believe it or not it's a uh, it's a uh, uh probably as light as your titanium one i just like the bushcraft stuff so i like the kind of like a rustic stuff i like the old items wooden spoons and such I'm sure you guys might too, you know. So uh, now I'll get to my zipper here. So I got some uh, small candles. I got my chopstick. Here is my ferro rod with the leash, which I usually like to loop to my belt, so it's not gonna get loose. Here's some toilet paper some TP. here you got uh, some thumbs they sometimes comes handy <laughs> all right um, here is the uh, my lighter uh, wrapped with uh, um, electrical uh, red tape so comes to like a small cut some stuff you need to modify on your backpack or tools or whatever uh, you got that extra and it's give you like a, you know, a little bit extra protection in a cold uh, situation. Uh, so obviously you got a, you got your fire starter, but uh, it's always very handy to also have a lighter. Okay, here is some extra napkins for cleaning and uh, handkerchief. And uh, here is a, like a, a bigger uh square uh you know um bandana you know uh i using it i just got it for christmas so we'll, we'll see how i'm gonna use it and uh okay and then i got uh some more paper here and uh this is one of the uh fat wood wrapped in a um uh, uh, wrapped in a, a foil Okay, goes inside here. Oh, actually, forgot to pull out the other compartment. That's my bushcraft knife. Okay, side pockets. Nalgen bottle. My tokes. This one is really nice because you can, you know, you can hang it, you, you can stand it, basically, you know, many options. Uh, here is like, a, you know, this is like a really special item. I'm not gonna say what's inside. Uh, you know, you might figure if you're making the grog in the woods, sometimes that's kind of a little uh, container with a little extra juice. It's a really handy thing to use. Uh, this is my uh, shaving from the fat wood, you know, so I got uh, like this big chunk of the fat wood and uh, I started cutting it to the small pieces so I can, uh, you know, um, make the patterns. But uh, then I figure, you know, I, I, I collect like so much of the sawdust and this thing like a uh, one strike and this one it's like a lit, lit up like nobody else business, you know, I just use like, a, you know, one of the like a pepper uh, shaker, you know, and uh, just to fill it up. And that's the lid for my togs. So as you see, you know, that's perfect fit right inside. This goes in the bottom like so. And uh, like I said, really, really good compartment right there. Okay, the other side. We got my spare uh, energy. I think it's an energizer uh, light. Really, really good, bright. Uh, you know, really. Uh, I mean, I think it's like a twelve bucks in Home Depot. You know, 
but it works like amazing. You don't have to buy expensive stuff. Even so, you know, like like I in some some, some stuff I like the brand names or I like the color or I like the shape. That's my another Nalgene bottle here. And uh, these are uh, steaks and uh, uh, the uh, uh, seam kit uh, for my Alux uh, half tent. And there is uh, another, uh, I mean, I, 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 right now I got like uh, way too many items here and I'm sure like you're gonna bomb me with uh, saying like, uh, I would take this, I would not take so many of these, but it's a working process and I like to uh, kind of fill this backpack and uh, just to see like uh, what's it's gonna be with uh, like a little bit overdoing the things, you know? So this is uh, again some fat wood. Uh, these are like two pieces, some other candle because you know sometimes uh, you forget you you got a couple of candles in the top and you reach the side pocket and you got like uh, this single one. I mean, you know, maybe a little overdue, but uh, I'm fine with it so far. With all these items and uh, stuff I show you inside here, I waited yesterday. I wanted do it uh, in this video but i was like you know what i'm just gonna do the first shot i don't care if i make a mistake i know like uh sometimes it's a little language bar barrier and uh i might uh <laughs> make the make you laugh or make you say like oh my god this guy cannot speak so that's the uh hunter pork stew that's one one of my food items for now i got uh some onion here I got my medic. This is gonna be like one other uh, thing what I'm gonna eventually uh, go and make it uh, like a smaller, especially for day hiking or just a simple overnighting. Uh, let me put this backpack for a second on the side and I'm gonna just go over um, what I got inside here, all right? So, so we got some Moleskin, we got a uh, space blanket, we got a uh, uh, couple of the uh, little uh, lights, th those uh, breakdown lights. Uh, I got a, a bunch of uh, booby tapes, which this is like a lot. This is like really a lot, you know, so that might gonna change in this uh, selection. Then I got uh, some uh, aura gel, cause you know, if you're in the woods and those is gonna start to give you some trouble, this thing might gonna save the night, okay? Uh, then I got a, a triple antibiotic uh, ointment. And uh, again, and that's why I'm saying, you know, I might have uh, like way too many because I got a still some mosque in here and i got a like a bigger tapes and like a uh, some pads and uh i i think i got a little bit way too many items here you know so that's that's my gonna change eventually and uh this is a bit for uh you know bigger cuts you know so so uh this this one uh and uh, some of the items uh you see here is a uh, from uh rescue essential it's a really good kit for like a uh, bigger wounds really you can stick this in a side pocket but like i said uh, right now that's what it's cover for my uh medic stuff all right uh so next one right now it's this huge uh sjk tarp it's th this this one this one it's uh uh again i don't want to waste the time to find what's the actual size but i believe this one is probably like a 12 by 12 at least. It's a huge tarp, you know, so you can use it as, as your uh, satellite tarp. You can use this as a, your blanket because, you know, you can use this uh, like a, uh, your uh, BV, you know, if you need it. That, that's going to be in my case, you know, this is going to be pretty much my BV inside of the hot tent. Okay, so that's for that. Uh, here is my uh, 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 Hellfire Bushcraft Grill. 
this actually uh, is off of the Amazon. It's really good uh, wax canvas pouch. And uh, it came with the two of those. You know, I'm carrying just the one because one, it's uh, more than enough for me right now. Uh, so I got a second one as a spare one for now. This one here, it's a... Uh, um, I'm not gonna read it, read it for yourself. <laughs> uh, so this one here, it's a, a thermo blanket uh, or a thermo tarp, you know, so like on one side, it's come with uh, this, uh, you know, space coating. So this is gonna be my base. Once I pack, uh, you know, uh, 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 so, so, some padding as a, uh, leaves or, or snow, or I make uh, some sort of filling in the bottom. This is gonna be my insulation from the from the bottom. And this is my, I mean, you see it in another video, if you see that video, but this is my surprise to some of you. Some of you. This is actually complete stove. And uh, I'm not gonna unpack it completely, but this is the actually uh, uh, titanium stove with a nine foot uh, chimney. Uh, and uh, everything fits amazingly in this small backpack. And as you see me open it up, it's still got like uh, this whole four inches extra so i can still put like my blanket i i, I can put a, a smaller um sleeping bag uh, my spare jacket or my my gore-tex you know so that whole thing it's fit right inside uh there's my breakfast so like right now i'm basically just uh planning to do a uh, day hike you know and uh, stay all the way to the like late hour so got like some late breakfast because usually I eat home. Then I got like a, you know, a late breakfast and then my dinner this time would be probably uh, canned food. And in the very bottom, it's my cordage. I got a couple different uh, cordages, but I'm not gonna make a, like a review for small items later. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, what I, forget okay i might forget my little vargo whistle so that comes here you know so once i got this like a buckle on my uh, that's that's my uh chest buckle you know so i actually you see uh when you try to make it first shot you forget so obviously once you got your straps on you tie everything nice and firm you know this uh this uh buckle over the chest it's really comfortable it's that backpack doesn't move anywhere i mean i waited the other night with my buddy here uh put it on a, a luggage scale and if i'm not mistaking uh this backpack the way it's packed with my stuff and like you see i, I probably got a couple extra items I think I'm uh, 32 and half pounds exactly, which like for me, that's that's absolutely great weight. And uh, very likely I'm, I'm gonna cut down a couple items. You know, obviously you're gonna say like, a, why you have a two knives, you know? Yes, I know you, you like what you like, you know, you have your uh, one knife, you know, for more like a uh, heavier stuff, your other knife, because it's a, uh, a uh, little bit uh, thinner uh it's better for like uh, cutting uh you know veggies you know and uh, like uh, preparing the food cutting the bread you know etc etc so 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 that uh being said this is pretty much all what you can fit plus like i said you still got a room uh, inside and outside of this amazing Helicantex uh, Bergen backpack. Uh, I don't know uh, if, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we are not done yet. I forget my fucking, oh, excuse my language. I forget my front here. And uh, 
that is uh, this time because uh, you know I might not gonna be uh, breaking the fire and I really want to load this up so I've got, I got my uh, uh, gas tank here I got my uh, snow peak stove uh, with the legs so uh, that's uh, that's the legs for the canister so you you got a better balance if you you know frying on a pan and such and this is my uh, food bag, you know. So this one here, you know, it's I'm not gonna go over these items, but uh, this is like uh, uh, my snacks, my uh, oatmeal, uh, some spices, uh, and uh, well, why not, right? This is long video already, so. Some sugar, uh, some cleaning um, steel wall, uh, some oil, some snacks, some soup, some tea, some coffee, uh, some oatmeal, spices, and some more spices because you know, you don't have enough spices ever, right? and uh, uh, some electrolyte uh, blocks. And guys, I know it looks messy right now, but uh, you tell me, you tell me, please comment, P please uh, say whatever critiques you gotta say. If this is uh, give you good, um, good idea, once you're gonna purchase this backpack and they come with uh, many, different, uh, many different colors too, if this is good backpack, you know, and uh, still not done yet here. So this is another pouch, you know, this is gonna be maybe your wallet and stuff like that. You don't wanna carry in a pocket somewhere where you can lose easily. So this is your little pouch here. And um, in the bottom here, it's a little carabinier. If you're carrying your hydration uh, uh, bladder, so you can, you can click it on and uh i got i make cut out and make my, my little kneeling panel so <laughs> that is really all i gotta say about this amazing backpack this is long video hopefully it's not boring and uh you guys have a good travel great bushcrafting uh whatever you bring in the woods bring it back and Vix out. Thank you for watching.